So this is my quick video on how I kill gophers. I learned this from my brother and my dad and I've kind of perfected it a little bit I think. So this is called a black hole trap. And what you do is when you get the trap, whether it's new or even like after I used it right now, I'm gonna boil it for 10 minutes. I flip it over halfway through with rosemary and lemon, but anything that's earthy to cover up any human scent. And when you touch it, you're gonna wear gloves. And I always, I kinda, you know, get some dirt in the gloves, some grass. Now you you find their mound, you dig it out. See how I dug, I dug this whole little hole out. And here's the mound going this way. And then you stick the trap in, and then you put dirt and grass and whatever to kinda seal up the edges. There's a little hole in the back of the mount, and I put, this is peanut butter here, and what happens is the gopher comes to try and see, well, why is air getting inside my tunnel system? Because they like to close up their mounds. See, here's some old mounds. This is on my neighbor's side of the yard, and then this is just barely on my side. And so they come to see, well, why is there air getting inside my system? They smell the peanut butter, they dig into this trap to try and figure out what's going on, and then the trap gets them. I can tell the trap sprung. There he is. Let's see if I can get him out with one hand. It's a little tricky. There's our gopher. This one's definitely dead. I got one once that was still alive. So what I learned is after you kill him, put him in there. And it's a warning. So if another gopher is coming through, hopefully, they'll... Uh, They'll see the dead gopher and decide to stray away. Now this trap here, I have to reboil it because I don't know if that gopher, maybe he peed in it. I don't know. And I just don't want it to spook other gophers and I've handled it a lot now. And so I'm going to reboil this trap with rosemary, with lemon. And then the only other thing to do is fix the yard. So there's that big hole I just made. Here's all the neighbors' little dirt piles. This is the rest of my lawn. So ignore the area by the truck, that's getting repaired. But overall, you can see it looks pretty good. But then you've got big hole here from the gopher. And um, we've got a little more damage. Here's where he dug two days ago and I didn't get him that time. And I keep my spare traps over here by the rosemary outside. So these are sterile, so I don't want to touch these. These have been boiled. I leave them over here by the earth mary, so by the rosemary, just so it smells all natural. So after I'm done boiling this one up tonight, I'll throw it back over here in the pile. And then uh, if and when another gopher comes in my yard, we'll kill him. Hope that helps. And... Um, one thing I am going to start doing is I'm going to put some castor oil down on the yard, mostly right up and down this way, uh, because the gophers seem to all be coming from this neighbor. My other neighbor has big trees with an owl, and so there are not really too many gophers on that side, but this side, they come into my yard. So I'm going to start putting castor oil all down here, and hopefully that'll deter them. Hope this helps. Good luck catching your gophers.